At a news conference in Boston today, FBI special agent in charge Richard Delorier would not reveal the names of the suspects, but said that some members of the public may have information about the stolen art. It's likely over the years that someone, a friend, neighbor, or relative, has seen the art hanging on a wall, placed above a mantle, or stored in an attic. We want that person to call us. Agent Jeff Kelly has worked the case for more than a decade. Someone called up and provided some information a few years ago that really opened the doors for us and led us to where we are now. Kelly says the thieves were part of a criminal organization based in the Mid-Atlantic and New England area. These paintings were offered for sale down in the Philadelphia area, so that's obviously one of the places that we really want to look at. What are the chances they're still there? I don't know. I don't know if they're still there. I don't know if they were ever sold down there. It was in the early morning hours of March 18, 1990, when two men dressed as police officers tricked a security guard into opening the museum door. They swept through the museum for 81 minutes, cutting some of the paintings out of their frames. When police finally arrived, two guards were found bound with duct tape. They took work by Degas and Manet, the only seascape Rembrandt is known to have painted, and Vermeer's The Concert, one of only 36 paintings by the artist. It alone is estimated to be worth $250 million. With all the work that we've put into this case, uh, we've never received any information that the paintings have been destroyed. There's absolutely no incentive for anyone to try and hold on to this artwork. It's, it's worthless to anyone but the museum. The museum continues to offer a $5 million reward for the stolen works. Anyone who returns them could be granted immunity from prosecution. No questions asked. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Boston.